So, it seems I wasn't the only one curious about the contents of this cave. I'd heard it was originally used as an armory for the people of Erebor, before that dragon showed up and... Well, I'm sure you know the rest. Look at it now. By my tongues, what I wouldn't give to see the fully-fledged armory in all its splendor. An armory fit for a kingdom. You've put together quite an impressive display. It's enough to bring a tear to an old blacksmith's eye. It's awful dusty in here, eh? Here, take this. I'm off to wipe the dust out of my eyes.
watch that, friend? Why, yes, I have been working out. With these three trunk arms of mine, I believe I could wield a ten-ton mithril warhammer. I'd need someone to forge me one, though. Would you mind? You can have something to make you look as impressive as me in return. Oh, Ooh, it's hot in here. Times like this, I wish you could take my beard off. But careful with the furnace, eh? I'm not insured. Nice item, that. the mithril warhammer. Oh, marvellous. I'm amazed you were able to carry it all this way. You must be almost as strong as yours truly. And I think that's an achievement worth celebrating. Ha! 
disputed who has the most aesthetically pleasing style of combat. Elves have their fancy bows and daggers, but can they match the grace of the Mithril Tornado Axe, hmm? Only one way to find out. Go forge me one, friend. For your trouble, you can have something to help you find more silver. Ho! Ha! Ho! Ha! Ha! <laughs> eh, it's long been disputed who has the most aesthetically pleasing style of combat. Elves have their fancy bows and daggers, but can they match the grace of the Mithril Tornado Axe, hmm? Only one way to find out. Go! As long as you've got a hot oven and the right ingredients, you can forge anything. If you've got the designs and the materials, I got the forging. But careful with the furnace, eh? I'm not insured. Don't ask what you're planning to use that for. Ooh, it's hot in here. Times like this, I wish you could take my beard off. What'll it be? It isn't my very own Mithril Tornado Axe. Oh, now my elven friend and I can finally settle our disagreement with a contest of weaponry showmanship. I warn you, things could get fabulous.
if it isn't me unofficial king's hand. My remaining subjects have barricaded themselves in my new throne room. Run and forge me a mithril bomb blade so I can blast me way in. In return, I'll bestow upon you the ability to hear nostalgic music wherever you go. Picked up any good designs lately? But careful with the furnace, eh? I'm not insured. Ask what you're planning to use that for. Did you get the Mithril Bomb Blade? Your king thanks you. Maybe now I can get inside and start doing some actual ruling. Here, another trinket to add to your collection. shouldn't have come here. My wife insisted on seeing the ruins of Dale up close, even though I said they were haunted. And now she's up and disappeared. You... You don't think the... ghosts of the old citizens got her? No, that's madness. I'll just stay here. She'll come back. Pooh.
where I'll be a Jewish dishcloth. What's in next are these horrible things? Help! Help! For a second there, I thought the ghosts had come to get me too. <clears throat> come on, let's leave this creepy place already. many moons have passed since Smaug wreaked his fiery havoc on this town. So many lives lost, homes destroyed. And what does my husband mourn the most? His missing dragon kite of all things. Because the wind came and carried it off towards Erebor earlier. I'd like to return it to him, if only so he'll stop going on about it. Well, plat me sideburns. That's my husband's dragon kite. You've no idea how happy he'll be. Between that business with the undead and the missing kite, I don't think he's been enjoying this trip very much. Here, I picked this up as a souvenir, but you should have it. Again. Yes, the missus and I are still here. In fact, I'm trying to think of a way to thank her for getting my missing kite back. Mm hmm. It looks like there was some kind of ride here back in the day. That might be something she'd like. Maybe we can fix up a new one.
Isn't she a beauty? <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on the old lady's face when she sees this. Hopefully it'll get me out of the doghouse for eating her share of the sandwiches too. should happen by. My husband and I were riding the carousel. He so sweetly fixed up for me. But in the excitement, he lost his grip on his kite again. Oh, no, no, no. I, I wouldn't ask you to bring it back again. It'll be halfway to Mount Doom by now, I'm sure. Instead, I thought you could perhaps build one that's a little more... durable. in the breeze, but heavy enough not to blow away entirely. A masterstroke of kite design and no mistake. I think now we can end our trip on a high note. I must give you another one of those souvenirs as a thank you. Steady talk of dragons. Pah! I eat dragons for breakfast, dear traveller. Why, I laid to rest 50 of the blighters only a minute before you arrived. If only there was a dragon here right now, I could give you a demonstration of my fearlessness.
D -d 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 Dragon! Please, don't eat me. There was a very tasty looking dwarf lady here earlier. Eat her. Or, or, or take this treasure. Dragons like treasure, right? <laughs> I'm too beautiful to be breakfast. Mm hmm.
planning on looting this cave, are you? Well, I suppose I could let you take some of the treasure. If you help me get to it, that is. Rotten Place is a puzzle, I tell you. Rigged only to reward the most persistent explorer. So, let's get to it. Not to be a backseat block smacker, but are you sure that's right? Did it? <laughs> now don't be mad, but it looks like the biggest piece of loot was actually sitting by the door the whole time. <laughs> ah well, we had some laughs either way. <laughs> Take it for your trouble.
give us a hand, would you? Ah, perfect timing. Remember that cave you helped me out with? Well, I've stumbled upon this old warehouse that looks to be in a similar state and bearing similar loot. I'm sure you know the rest. Help me sort the place out and I'll deal you in on the treasure. You know, I think that I'd look better over there. Oh, sorry. Ignore me. Give us a hand, would you? Give us a hand, would you? a hand, would you? a hand, would you? Tidy warehouse. Now the treasure is ours for the. Oh, who am I fooling? 
I grabbed the treasure before you even got here. You see, the kindness you've shown me today, that, my friend, is the greatest treasure of all. That, and I do love a tidy warehouse. <laughs>